Hey there, so in this video I'm going to be showing you where to find your API credentials, which is what you can use to connect PayPal to your e-commerce shop. So once you log in to your dashboard, it should look something like this if you have a business PayPal account. If you don't have a business PayPal account, it will not look like this and you do need to upgrade your account to be a business PayPal account in order to get your API credentials. So once you've done that, um, you want to go hover over tools and go to all tools and click on that. And once you do that, you'll get to your PayPal tools and resources. And if you scroll down, you won't actually see everything that's available to you. So what you can do is you can type in this little search bar and put API, and then as you can see, API pops up. So you wanna click on open, and then here you have the options that are available to you, and you wanna click on manage API credentials. So we're gonna click on that. So if you have two-step authentication um, or some type of security thing um, set up, you may um, have to verify the account by putting in a security code. Um, and this is the page that you should end up on once you've authenticated your account. So as you can see here, it is uh, by default on request API signature. So we're just gonna click on agree and submit. And then it will bring you to this page where you can now click on um, show username and show password and show signature. So if we are trying to add this onto our site, these are the credentials that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what it looks like on the back end of a WordPress site if you are trying to do that on WordPress. So if you are using WordPress, you want to hover over to WooCommerce and go to settings. And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to make sure you put your PayPal email here. And you also want to put your email here for the receiver email. And then when you scroll down, you'll see we have live API username, live API password, and live API signature. So if we go back, you'll see API username, API password, and signature. And we are just going to click on these icons, copy and paste the information into these sections here, then click on save changes and we are done.